Why am I so bad at this type of puzzle when I'm so good at jigsaw puzzles? Oh my God, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Why are there so many numbers? Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today's puzzle is one that has been so highly requested and I am so excited to try it out. It is the Ravensburger Escape Room puzzle. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> um, my contact at Ravensburger who sent me these, I he tried to tell me like what to expect and I was kind of like, no, no, I wanna go in completely blind. You know, I wanna figure this out as if I was any other puzzler in the world trying this out for the first time. But before I get into it, I wanted to let you know that today, November 15th, is the last day of the Black Friday sale on my merch shop. <laughs> yes, they're doing Black Friday a little early just to give the warehouse a little more time to send out all of your puzzling swag. And I mean, everything else that they send out. It's a big operation, it's not just my shop. But here's the deal. If you spend at least $75 across all of DFTBA, you will get free shipping anywhere in the world. If you have an address, they can ship to it. And as long as you spend $75, it is completely free. So the way that I set it up is that if you order all four things in my shop, you will hit that $75 threshold and you'll get free shipping. And I have a brand new t-shirt. It says, every day I'm puzzling. And the apostrophes are little puzzle pieces. It is a women's cut shirt, super cute. And then there is also a Puzzle Club sticker. And you can put that anywhere you want to show the world that you are a puzzler. So you can go to dftba.com slash Karen. Uh, remember the deal is only good for the rest of today and then it's gone forever. So I hope that you will help support my channel. And now let's take a look at the puzzles. So Ravensburger sent me two of these. They sent me uh, the Forbidden Basement and the Curse of the Wolves. And I think I'm going to do the Forbidden Basement because I don't know, the picture is just a little more interesting to me. And before I get into it, I do want to say that there will of course be spoilers. So if you ever think that you're going to do this specific puzzle, can feel free to stop watching now. But they have tons of these escape puzzles, so if you watch this and you wanna try one for yourself, you know, you can just get a different one and then it won't all be spoiled. So literally the only thing that I know to expect is that um, from the blurb on the website, they say that the pieces can fit together in different ways and that creates the clues that you need to escape. I assume we're escaping from the basement. I assume there's gonna be some kind of booklet or story or something. I don't really know. Um, let's open this up and just find out what's inside. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we have puzzle pieces, of course. I was definitely expecting that there would be puzzle pieces. This is a jigsaw puzzle channel. Uh, there's a sealed envelope, which I assume is the answer. So I'll just put that down here for now and we won't look at that. And then there is a little booklet and what do we have in here? We have, okay, it's in many different languages. Here is English. <laughs> okay, so it's not a full on story. It's just a few paragraphs. So I'll just go ahead and read it to you. It's, it's story time, right? <laughs> the Forbidden Basement. Upon checking your mail today, you discover an unexpected notice. The letter informs you that a distant relative who is quite wealthy has passed away and requests that you visit their estate to help clarify the beneficiary of the inheritance. Their last will stated that the full inheritance should be given to the person who proves themselves to be the worthiest. Okay, already, I mean, that's gonna be me. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Excited by the potential access to wealth, you set off to the mansion. On your way, dark storm clouds begin to gather above the town. As you get closer, the road ends and you must walk the rest of the way. 
Anxious to find shelter fast, you see the mansion tucked away from the path in a dark, dense forest. You run for the door. Reaching the mansion just in time, the storm releases powerful strikes of lightning and pouring rain. You know, for someone who could potentially be the worthiest, you would think that you would check the weather and bring an umbrella. And a raincoat. As you examine the derelict roof and lofty construction, you notice something written on the back wall. The letters fade from the leaking water as you approach and read, if you want to find true happiness, you must use your mind. And then, a safe. What could be locked inside? How will you open it? Do you have your phone? Can you take photos and post them on Reddit? <laughs> that part wasn't on here, that was my own addition. Time to start. Now it is time to put the puzzle together and watch your image emerge. The rectangular pieces in the bag are not part of the puzzle and can be discarded. When you have finished, look for the mysteries and hidden clues to figure out your escape. Best of luck! Note, the image on the package is different from the actual puzzle image. Seven mysteries are hidden within the puzzle for you to solve. Tip for finding the answer, pay attention to the edges. If you get stuck, you can find help here. All right, I'll just keep escapepuzzlesupport.com in the back of my mind, but hopefully I will not need help. Just as I thought, the puzzle that we're putting together is not this image, although I'm wondering if there are clues in this image that I'll have to be like comparing back and forth. But at least we have our objective now. We're trying to open the safe to discover untold wealth. <laughs> so let's start putting the puzzle together. All right, I just finished sorting out all of the edge pieces. I have not solved the mystery yet. I have not escaped, <laughs> but I do see a lot of random numbers, especially on the edge pieces. So I feel like that's definitely going to come into play. There are also some numbers that I've seen on some of these inside pieces, but I don't know, I can't really tell. I guess I see like jars, maybe a skeleton. I can't really tell what I'm gonna be putting together yet. So I guess, I guess I'll just get started. <laughs> Alright, so I'm eh, finished with the edge. Not quite. <laughs> this puzzle is so weird and interesting. So I realized that pretty much every knob on the edge fits into every other edge piece. And normally I would, you know, hate that and that would be the mark of a really badly made puzzle. But in this case, I'm pretty sure that's how you solve the, the escape puzzle in the end, so I'll let it go. However, because the pieces are so dark, I had to be like two inches away trying to like get the, um, you know, the image to line up. And I didn't quite finish it because I can't tell like where I'm a little off. So I'm sure I'm going to be rearranging some of the edges as I go, but I figured instead of spending a ton of time on that, I would instead start to build out the middle, get a little more context for what I'm seeing on the outside, and then I should be able to finish that. I also did pretty much the entire outside before I realized that it pretty much follows what's on the box. Like there are a few differences, but the general image, you know, like the ceiling is pretty much exactly the same as what's on the box. So I could have used that as kind of a framework as I went, but I didn't realize until it was too late. <laughs> I still don't know what any of these numbers mean. Um, nothing from just putting the edge together has given me any kind of hint to solve any of the like inside puzzles. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna work on doing the puzzle and then I'll check in in a little bit. You guys, I'm like 
I don't know, a half hour in and this puzzle is already so hard. So this part up here, which I thought for sure I had right, I just had to do a lot of rearranging because a lot of these like seemed to fit, but they didn't actually like line up perfectly. So I had to rearrange a lot of that. I have a pretty big section going here of the skeleton and then the bear, which we can see on the, the picture. He's just hanging out, chilling. <laughs> But in the puzzle, he's really angry. Also, I don't know why there's a bear in the basement. When I'm on my safe hunting missions, I would prefer if bears didn't show up. But besides that, I've pretty much concentrated on like the wall, which is um, not the most interesting part of this puzzle, but is the lightest color, which makes it probably the easiest. Luckily, these inside pieces seem pretty unique. They don't seem like they'll be able to be rearranged to the same way that the edge pieces can. So I feel pretty confident about all of this. And now I'm working on these blues. That'll be the blue ceiling up here. So yeah, just keep at it. All right, it's been another few hours. I've actually made quite a lot of progress. I'm probably at least halfway done. Here's where we are. Now, obviously this edge is not all going to go together and there's a piece up there that's missing and then there's a lot of edge on this side that's missing and probably wrong. But I feel like a lot in the middle is really coming together. Of course, I left the really dark corners for last so that's gonna be fun. Look at how dark all the rest of these pieces are. I have not solved the mystery yet, but I have noticed quite a few differences from the picture to uh, the puzzle. And I didn't realize that this picture was going to be so similar to what the puzzle was. That definitely makes it easier. I thought it was gonna be completely different, like the uh, Murder, She Wrote mystery puzzle that I did. But no, they're pretty similar. So you can at least get the same framework that you're putting together. Oh boy, a little bit more to go. Oh my God, you guys, I found the safe. I just put together the safe. Now I have to figure out how to open it and claim my wealth. I assume that there's a real prize, right? There's a real cash prize when I solve this. All right, everyone, I'm almost done with the puzzle. I thought that I would just hop on here and chat a little bit while I finish it up. So this puzzle is definitely more difficult than I expected. There are a few pieces in here that I just like can't seem to find. And I really hope that's not part of the puzzle that they are missing. Um, that would not be a fun twist to Ravensburger. But I mean, so far as I've gone, all of the pieces that I've been looking for, I've just been like, I swear this piece, oh, here we go. I swear this piece does not exist. And then, you know, you find the piece and there it is. <laughs> also, I was not told that this puzzle had rats in it. I really hate rats. Um, that part of the puzzle is very upsetting to me. I don't like looking at them. If um, all puzzle makers from now on could just put a little rat uh, trigger warning on all puzzle boxes, like just for me, that'd be great. I wanted to tell you guys the story of this one time that uh, my family did an escape room and we went to a place where they had the same room twice so that you could like race each other. So what we did was we had all the cousins in one room and all of the like aunts and uncles in the other room. And you know, when you like, do an escape room, everybody kind of immediately gives themselves a role. My role every time that I've done an escape room is to be the finder. So as soon as we're in, I'm like on the floor, like turning things over, looking for clues, 
trying to consolidate all of the clues. And in this one room that we did, there was this one clue that was like underneath the bottom shelf of a bookshelf. And me, since I was like on the floor looking for everything, I found that immediately. And we ended up escaping from the room in like 40 minutes, 42 minutes. Now the adults, they did not um, get on the floor. They did not find that clue very quickly. It took them quite a while to look under there. And so they did escape, but only like just before the hour was up. So they came out and all of us were, you know, sitting in the lobby being like, where have you been? What took you so long? <laughs> oh, I miss escape rooms. Someday, someday we'll be able to do them again. In the meantime, we have escape room puzzles. <laughs> Oh my god, I just finished the puzzle! Well, I finished the jigsaw puzzle, now I have a lot more uh, escape room puzzles to, to puzzle through. Here's what it looks like. I Honestly, I was so like focused on just putting it together as a jigsaw puzzle that I haven't even really looked at these like numbers and I don't know, these numbers and all the numbers. So I'll take a closer look right now. All right, let's try to get into this safe. So let me refer back to the booklet just so I remember what we're doing. There are seven mysteries to solve and this says to pay attention to the edges. I also grabbed a pen and some paper because I don't know if there's gonna be math involved. There are a lot of numbers hanging out on this puzzle. This is the part that I am a little nervous for. I am worried I'm just gonna fail completely. There is a reason why when I do escape rooms, I am the one who finds things. I am not the one who solves the puzzles and escapes. Jigsaw puzzles I can do. Puzzles where you don't really know like what you're looking for, not so great at those. But okay, here's what I'm noticing off the bat. So there are a lot of numbers here on the stairs. That's definitely gonna be something, so that's one. The numbers on the edges, that's two. There's this thing down here, that's three. There's some funny looking symbols up here. That Oh, and there's another one here, okay. Those, that probably is something, so that's like four. So let me start down here because these numbers seem um, Pretty straightforward. It looks like it's some math equations. Six plus four is 10, nine plus two is 11, and eight plus seven is 15. So it looks like we'll need some kind of number blank 15. So this might be the, the safe. I mean, two, seven, three, three, blank. Maybe what we need to find is what that blank is. All right, I'll put this away for now because it seems like I got everything that I'm going to out of that. Wait, no, okay, no. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull out every edge piece that has uh, a number on it and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the inside here. So, all right, I don't really know what to do with those now. One thing that I was thinking was looking at what color the numbers are, because some of them are like kind of pink, some are kind of gray, some are more white, but I feel like that might just be whatever color it needs to be so that you can read it on the specific background. I don't know if that's like a part of the puzzle or not. I mean, are you supposed to put them in maybe numerical order? Will that give you something? I just, I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> this is what happens in escape rooms every time. I'm just like, here, I found all the clues. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> okay, well, he's holding, the skeleton is holding a piece of paper that says 77, possibly 22, because his finger is like covering the top of it. 
and there's a picture of a safe on it. So that means something. Okay, but I see an X here. I say three. Okay, so I think I'm looking for maybe Roman numeral numbers. So there's a three here on this box, and then there's an XI. Can I just Google like how to do Roman numerals? That's not cheating, right? And then it looks like the boar head. Okay, I need to start writing these down. So it looks like the boar's head is three. The fish is V111, that's eight, I believe. So it looks like we have a three, a four, an eight, 10, and 11. Again, don't know what to do with those numbers. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this type of puzzle when I'm so good at jigsaw puzzles? Okay, so in these numbers over here, I'm noticing something. There are a lot of repeated numbers. So like, I'm seeing 16 twice, I see 42 a few times. So I think I'm gonna write down all of the numbers and count how many times each of them appear. So 24 appears five times and 42 appears three times. I see a lot of like switching the numbers around. So we have 36 and 63, but again, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> all right, I think it's time to start collecting all of these edge pieces. You know, maybe I need to put these in numerical order. Maybe, I know that these are gonna fit together some different way because that's what it said on the website. Oh my God, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all of these numbers. You know, at first I thought that when I got them all in one place, I'd be able to maybe like put them together in a different way from how, how the, oh, wait, can I do that? Wait, hang on, hang on. Am I doing something? <laughs> Is something happening? <laughs> so these three pieces all look like they go together. I mean, that's the problem here is that, as I said before, all of the pieces can fit into all of the other pieces. But I just feel like I don't have enough to like make a new image. Like, cause there isn't really anything happening on these pieces that would create a new image. And then like, if as I do fit them together, then what do I do with the numbers? Why are there so many numbers? Ooh, wait, up here. Oh, I think that's like a bunny's foot. So that might correspond to the four down here. That might give me a number. Okay, so I think I need to fill in a number up here. Okay, one of them's gonna be the fish. Yeah, I should have noticed that, that all of those like corresponded to the animals. <laughs> does the bear have a number? So it looks like that's a bear's claw. Oh, the bear does have a number. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so what is this thing? Um, like a tusk? I think that's the boar. So that would give me three. And then the bear is five. And then the rabbit is four. I think that's a fish's tail. So that is eight. Three, five, four, eight. Well, I think I solved one of the puzzles. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that number now. All right, you know what? I think I've been puzzling over this for far long enough. So I'm gonna get a hint. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wish I could have solved it on my own. I, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. <laughs> Okay, escapepuzzlesupport.com. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, okay, it highlighted the things that I should be looking at. If you want to, it'll give you more hints too. So this hint number one, I actually already solved. I did that one all on my own. Let me check if my solution is correct. Three, five, four, eight. Okay, so I have one solution correct. Number two is this down here, these numbers, that was the first thing that I pulled. Okay, here's the hint. How do you need to calculate the numbers for a hundreds place value? Oh, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't see that. <laughs> so if you subtract them, you get, you get the first number. So six minus four is two, nine minus two is seven, etc. which means that eight minus seven that gives us a one. Okay, so the solution is just <laughs> 115. And then maybe that corresponds to like some of these pieces. No. Oh, yes, they do. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so I have two pieces which correspond to our two answers so far. And 
they fit together. So that makes me think that since this piece can also fit next to them, that one of the other solutions is going to be 165. Okay, so I'm just going to follow um, what, what the puzzles are. So the next one is in vino veritas. That means under the influence of alcohol, a person tells the truth. So how does that help me? Look at the bold, what? The bold letters? Oh, oh my God. I could barely even see that they were bold. Okay, so if we look at the bold letters, it looks like we have I-V-I-V, -I -V, which is 165, which is what I just said. I just didn't quite put the pieces together to get there on my own, but it's fine. We're there now. We've got it. Okay, puzzle number four. That is going to be these jars here on the shelf. So we have square, square, circle, triangle. Okay, I need a hint. I'm looking at the first hint. <laughs> Which of the three shapes is the next logical shape in the sequence? So we have square, square, circle, triangle. I do not know. I'm looking at hint number two. <laughs> Alternating colors, red, blue, red, blue. Yes, I got that. I saw that. So we're gonna need a blue circle. We haven't had a circle for a while. I'm gonna say blue, circle, which I think then corresponds to 301 up here, and maybe that's our answer. So alternating shapes, angular, round, angular, wait, angular, angular, round, angular, round, angular, angular, round, angular, angular, round. Okay, missing shape, blue circle. So the answer is 301. Okay, <laughs> I'm here. I'm on the right track. I'm, I'm doing it. I just, sometimes we just need a little help, okay? Okay, next puzzle are these three paintings. So I think that what I'm looking at are their neck, neck things. So maybe it's, maybe we have to count up the number of sides. So what if this was an eight? and then this one would be a nine, and then this one would be a, a six, eight, nine, six. Do I have a, a piece that corresponds to eight, nine, six? Yes. <gasps> Did I solve that one all on my own? <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. Six, wait, six, four, three, what does that mean? Wait, the amount of angles determines the number. One hexagon, two diamonds, three triangles. So the one hexagon is six, right? But why am I looking at that one first? Why wouldn't it be? Wait, this makes no sense. <laughs> the amount of shapes determine, oh, the amount of shapes determines the position of the number in the final answer. So since there's only one shape here, that's a six. Since there's two shapes here, I guess there's four in each one. And then that one would be three, six, four, three. Okay, I still, I think my solution works too. Um, I don't know if I would have gotten quite that far entirely on my own. Next, we have two puzzles left. So, okay, the next one is all of these, pe all of these numbers over here, which I do not know what to do with. So hint number one, the numbers on each board belong together. I did not do that. Oh my God, do I have to write them all out all over again? Let me see what the next hint is. <laughs> what do the numbers have in common? Maybe it's what number like is a divisor of each of the numbers on each board. So for the first board, I think it's three because three goes into 15, 24, 12, and 27. The next one, okay, I think I got it. The next one's gonna be nine. The next one is Seven. Oh my God, I haven't had to do multiplication tables in so long. But that gives me six numbers and none of these pieces have six numbers on them. All right, next clue. The numbers all have a common divisor. I did that. The three symbols on the beam over the fish indicate the relevant final answers. Oh my God, I didn't even see those symbols. Wow, that's really dark. You need really good lighting to do this. <laughs> okay, so we have this guy. That one is, I think, seven. After that is eight. And then after that is, what was that one? Three, seven, eight, three. Final answer, seven, eight, three. <laughs> I did it! I got one right! Now, puzzle number seven is this piece of paper that's in his hand, which I cannot figure out what it says. I literally have no idea. More symbols can be found on the safe. E, 
This makes no sense. I don't understand this. Join the symbols on the piece of paper with the symbols on the safe. What? <laughs> this is so confusing. I have no idea. Together, they equal three numbers. The first symbol on the piece of paper and the first symbol on the safe create... Oh, I th oh, so it goes there. So four, four, the second symbol... Oh, that creates not nine. I guess, I guess I see that. Okay, four, four, nine, eight. Wait, where's the piece? Oh, here it is. No, I see it. I found it. <laughs> We're all good. So then what do I do with these? Do they like, does that happen? Ooh, and then am I looking for, am I looking for this corner piece and that's my final answer? Yeah, because when you do that, you can see, you can see the safe, the door of the safe, sort of, just barely. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, you know what? I have puzzled over this for far long enough. I think it's time to open up the answer. You have defeated me, Ravensburger. I don't know. I'm sorry if you all think worse of me as a puzzler now. Wait. Wait, is that it? Are those answers literally just... Is it... Is this all that you had to do? You didn't have to come up with any final answer? That was it? Oh, okay, I guess that's it. <laughs> okay, I see, so you can sort of place it over the image and then, and then the door swings open. Okay, well, that was an adventure. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video. I literally just spent, what, like, literally like an hour trying to puzzle through all of those and then had to use hints for half of them. But as I said earlier, they did send me two of them. So I feel like if I do this one, I'll have more of an idea of what to look for and how, like what types of puzzles I'm looking to solve. So I'll update you on Instagram if I do the second one and you know, if I solve it. I mean, I had a great time doing the jigsaw puzzle. It was just the other puzzles along the way that, that kind of uh, tripped me up a little. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanna remind you all that my merch is still for sale and Black Friday is happening today, a little bit early. Remember that if you hit $75 on DFTBA, you get free shipping anywhere in the world. And if you buy all four things in my store, you will hit $75. So might be some great presents for the puzzlers in your life. All right, thank you for sitting through this very long video. I hope you found that entertaining, even if you are better at escape room puzzles than I am and you were like yelling at your computer screen the entire time because I just was not figuring it out. Your code word for the comments will be mm, basement because we are escaping from a basement. Let me know in a comment if you've ever done a puzzle like this or if you think it is something you might wanna try or if you think that you could have solved that way faster than I did and without as many hints as I used. All right, I need to go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.